In this lesson, we want to introduce the three main software tools. I mean, move, rotate, or scale. If you want to work faster and easier, you have to memorize the shortcuts. That is E, R, T. Where all three are next to each other in the keyboards. As you can see, this is the software center with three main axes, each in a different color. The Y axis, which is upward, is green color. The next X axis is red and the Z axis is blue. Most software have the same colors. Insert a simple cube. Each time we import any object or comment, it is located exactly in the center of the software. As you can see, we have three-dimensional handle or gizmo that by taking each of them, we can move the object on a desired axis. In addition, there are these handles for moving two axes. If you click and drag somewhere in the open space, you can move the object on all three axes. Each time we move the object, numbers are shown the amount of movements and distance traveled. A white line also shows the beginning and end of the movement. If you hover the mouse over one of the axes and hold a shift before clicking, the two opposite axes are selected and you can move in these two axes but if you click first and select the axis of movement and then hold the shift key the common called quantize is executed that moves the regular manner instead of small numbers as you can see i mean this is an in, in a stepped manner where the movement is the amount of every five centimeters you can put any number in its settings. Enter the modeling setting button and quantize tab. Now you can choose number for options, move, rotate, or scale. For example, the number five means moving every five to five forward. Or rotate every five degrees or scale five percent. To change it, just click on it and put the number 10, for example. Okay, now when we move, the movement is done in from of 10 steps. If you click on the tools, its setting will be appear in the attribute section. Most of these options are off because these settings are for move are for moving point, line which we'll be talking about in the next lesson, I mean in element mode. The only option in the ob uh, object access section is the per object transfer option. There is another tab here called soft selection, which will be explained in detail in the next tutorials. Now we enter the rotate tool and by clicking on these colored bars that are related to the different axes, we can rotate the object. You can also active the quantize mode by holding the shift key. As you can see, you can rotate five degrees, the stepping mode. If you click in somewhere on this object, you can rotate the object freely. If you notice that there is a gray circle around the object, if you click and drag outside the object, you can rotate the object around the axis of the camera, as you can see. Well, now if we want all three rotations and movement to return its original states, what should we do? Do this with enter the coordination manager section by clicking this button and click on the reset transform button. We'll be teach this section in the future lessons in detail. 
In addition, if you click any object, its sitting will be appear. In a chord tab, I mean coordination tab, you can change the various object parameters. For example, in this part, position. You can change the position X, Y, and Z in different axes, as well as rotation. We'll be explaining this tab and its contents in detail in the future. Now, click on the scale tool. This tool is used to change the size of the object on a different axis. Okay, but in this object, uh, we found that on each of the handle we click, we make the whole object bigger or smaller. This is because the object that are in this section, we use them are parametric, meaning that their dimensions are changed by these options here. In order to be able to customize the object and start modeling, we have to click the Make Edited Build button here. Until the object is ready to be edited. As you can see, clicking on the polygon line point buttons active the other modeling tools. Let's go back to model mode. And if we click on the scale tool again, we can change the dimensions of the object in different directions. Okay. Now we create several cubes and put them anywhere okay and click on the object as you can see when we select two objects for example two objects for example their common axis is exactly somewhere in the middle of the two objects for example if we move the object uh, an object around and select them again the software takes the average of all axes of objects and create an axis which you can move all selected objects together. You can easily have the same choices in the object manager. Select all objects by clicking and dragging or select objects by shift or deselecting by control or select it separately by control as you can see exactly in the windows mode select all objects and click on the rotate tool in its sitting option per object transform when this object is disabled when rotating all objects rotate together and when this option is enabled each object rotates separately along its own axis as you can see and it is the same with the scale. We do all this work with the scale tool. And as you can see, the each object scale separately. But go back to rotate setting. In the rotate, there is an, another option called jimbling rotate that locks the y axis and give a special rotation as you can see this button coordinate system button here up not the software this button is to convert from object coordinate mode to the word coordinate mode this is word co coordinate mode i mean the exactly of the center of the software world of the software but if you click on one of the objects and rotate it, these are object coordinates. And as you can see, its axis also rotate with the object. And now if we want to straight up or down, it's not possible, as you can see. Here we can use this button to align the axis of the object with the uh, axis of the software in this way. Also note the graphic change on the button when you click between object coordinate or word coordinate. 
There are three uh, buttons inside of the coordinate button for locking the axis. As you can see, we can lock all three axes or one of them or two of them. If you lock, you cannot move or rotate on the lock axis. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release